Trace 700 is an industry-leading load design and energy modeling software. The newest release, version 6.3, has two new feature sets that we'll cover in this clip. The first is the lead guide, which is a step-by-step -step help that guides the user through the lead modeling process. The second is the baseline building creator, which helps automate the creation of the baseline building. We'll open up Trace and go through both updates. The first thing you'll see when you open up Trace is a new startup option called Create a New Lead Project. That's where we'll start. As usual, you'll need to pick a folder and give the file a name. The first thing you'll see is a pop-up that has three steps. These are the three basic steps you'll need to complete a lead model. We're going to start with the green one here, model the proposed alternative. First thing you'll need to do is pick a building theme. Uh, the themes that you pick will help populate templates. For this example, I'll use Office, so we'll get templates like Office, Conference Room, Lobby, Corridor, uh, themes like that. After you click Next, you'll get thrown into Trace, and this is the first place you'll see the lead guide. Uh, the lead guide works best when it's on the right of Trace. Uh, what's going to happen here is as you step through different windows and different tabs, the lead guide will update with modeling information for the inputs you're using. You can see here we're on the weather screen so Trace or the lead guide is going to give you information related to the weather. As we switch to a different screen the lead guide updates. After you pick your weather you hit next and we go into templates. All right, again you can see the lead guide updated with information regarding internal load templates. In the description box, you can see that we've populated all of your office templates, so you can modify these or you can create your own. As we step through the different tabs, you can see the lead guide updates with information for that tab. Once you've completed uh, all of your templates, you can hit next here. One thing I want to point out is the detailed help for the lead guide. This opens a new screen and it gives you information regarding the tab that you're on. It also has related topics. One of the most useful things that we've added is Appendix G Table 3.1. This will show you side-by-side -side comparison of how you need to model the baseline and the proposed according to Appendix G. Okay, Once you've created all your templates, you hit Next here. You get a pop-up showing you what you've completed, represented by the red check marks, and what steps you're on. So after you create your templates, you see here that you need to create your rooms, zones, systems, and plants. This will be your proposed uh, alternative, so it'll be representing uh, your design documents. Instead of building one, I'm just going to open a alternative or a proposed alternative that's already been created. Once you've completed your proposed alternative, you can create your 90.1 baseline. In Trace, there are two ways to access it. You can right-click at the top of Alternative 1, select New ASHRAE 90.1 Baseline, or you can use the Alternative Setup drop-down, select New ASHRAE 90.1 Baseline. We're going to calculate the design section of your proposed, and then you'll get the lead guide settings. You'll have to input these based on what you know of your proposed to help us populate your baseline. Inputs are going to be principal heating source, ASHRAE lighting compliance, the climate zone you're in. If you don't know what climate zone your county falls in, you can click select climate zone by state, select your state, select the county, hit OK. Enter the quantity of floors, and then we ask you for a couple construction types. Once you hit OK, we're going to create your baseline alternative. You'll get a pop-up. Again, all of the red check marks show you what you've completed, and the green is what you're working on. So if you read here, we've created your baseline. Um, we've used 90.1 minimally compliant construction types. We've gone room by room, and we've input your outside air based on your proposed. We've gone through and we've reduced the total building window percentage, if it's greater than 40%, down to 40%. We've reduced the skylights down to 5% if they exceeded. And we've predefined maximum allowable lighting densities. Okay, So you can see step three is what's yet to be completed. You'll need to select your ASHRAE baseline systems and 
select your minimally compliant plans. Once you hit finish, we put you into alternative two, so this is your baseline now, templates. Okay. Again, you have the lead guide on the right, and you can walk through your templates, and the lead guide will tell you what we've done to your baseline and what needs to be completed. Once you're satisfied with your baseline building, you can move on to systems. Once you've completed your baseline building, you can move on to create systems. When you open create systems, you'll see the lead guide on the right, uh, new system category, ASHRAE 90.1 baseline systems, and then the eight baseline systems. If you don't know which system type you need to model, you can click on detailed help. Four factors here will put you into one of the eight baseline systems. Once you have your system, simply click on the system type you need to model. As you step through the different tabs, the lead guide will let you know what we've auto-populated and what you need to fill in. Uh, things we've auto-populated are economizer, optimum start, supplier temperature reset, fans, and coil oversizing. So as you step through here, you can see the lead guide updates, lets you know what's going on. Once you've completed your system, you'll need to move on to assign rooms to systems. Once you've created all of your necessary 90.1 baseline systems, you can move on to assign rooms to systems. On the left, you'll have all of your unassigned rooms. In the middle, your baseline systems. And on the right, uh, the lead guide in this section, the lead guide will tell you how to properly zone all of the different baseline systems. You can create zones where necessary and then drag and drop rooms accordingly. Once you have all of your rooms assigned, you can move on to create plants. In the create plant section of Trace, you can use our 90.1 equipment to build up your baseline plants.